Here we have what I call a genius mocktail. And I discovered this, I was in Colombia, the, country, the beautiful country of Colombia recently. Uh, and this is a take on a Mexican michelada. It's basically an alcohol-free, super healthy cocktail that you, wait, we forgot to salt the glass. You gotta salt the rim. Oh my God. Yeah. You don't need sodium, it's not good for you. Well, you know. Genius. It's electrolytes. It's, it's, I'm you just know. kidding, Max. So if you don't drink or if you're just taking a break, I mean, I, you know, I'll drink occasionally, but it's nice to, when you have nights off, to have something that also feels fancy. All you do is you put a whole lime and some sparkling water in. Remember, you've got the salted rim on the well, glass. Well, you do. Here you go. Okay. Cheers. So it basically feels like a margarita, but it's alcohol free and you get vitamin C from the lime. Tastes like bubble water. <laughs> Just taste it. Taste it with the salt. No, I don't want okay, the salt. Okay, okay, I don't okay. drink salt in my margarita. All right. So, genius mocktail. Move on down the line. Moving on down the line. As I mentioned in the tape piece, light can be a form of medicine, right? Right. But at the end of the day, we want to make sure that we are getting a break from super bright light. Because that what that does, it tells our brains that it's daytime when it's not. So that can That's right. Us and to you be... will never, your brain won't calm down. Yeah. So this is actually a night light. If you hold uh, your hand over it, you'll activate it because it gets activated in darkness, obviously. But one of the tips that I didn't, it's not working. You got it. You got to be really dark. <laughs> yeah, really dark. Um, Maybe it's a measure of personality somehow. I don't, I don't know. know. Um, so what you want to do is you want to replace the bright lights in your home with amber-colored lights like this. That we can't make turn. Oh, I did it! Yeah. There we go. And what, what that does is it lets oh, you. Oh no, I didn't do it. it this is supposed to turn on, it's right? It's supposed to turn on. Yeah, it tur it'll turn on if you keep it like in your bathroom. Um, <laughs> it should. There it is. I you got to go. Good job. That was awesome. That was awesome. So what this does, it's gonna help you sleep better, it's gonna help your body. Uh, and it makes you look rejuvenate. younger. It makes you look Yay. younger. Yeah. Yeah, no, good job, buddy. It's all about living the genius life. That's the that's the topic of the new book. And so okay. these are these are plants that are gonna help clean the air. You know, air in our homes can actually be if you look at certain, if you look at certain compounds like organic volatile compounds like formaldehyde, indoor air can be a lot more polluted than outdoor air. So plants can actually help clean your indoor it's air. It's so counterintuitive that the air in your apartment could be dirtier than the air in the street. It's I know, crazy. I know. <laughs> different different types of pollutants, but we so need to more be, green plants. More green plants. Yeah. So we've got three. We've got a plant over here called the Janet Craig plant, which is a very funny name. We've got. It's Janet, Jenny's cousin. Will this plant help you lose weight? No. <laughs> It's actually funny, it's named after the daughter of a, of a botanist in Philadelphia. Cool. So no, no relation, but we've got the Boston fern here. Boston fern, of course. And the rubber plant. Now you wanna keep these within a and personal- And the little ivy, don't forget the little ivy. And the little ivy, yeah. yeah. You wanna keep these within a personal breathing zone of about six to eight cubic feet, which is a lot smaller than you would think. So rather than keeping your plants on the other side of the room, it's, it's good to keep plants by your bed, by your desk, if you spend an extended amount of time there. And also it's always a good uh, idea to just make sure that your home is well ventilated. And if you're keeping them in your bedroom, make sure that you're buying low light plants. You don't want to kill the plant that's trying to help you live longer, right? Exactly. <laughs> exactly.